Hello and welcome. My name is Victor, and today I'm staying at Nosho Disco Park, as always. And with me, I have a special disc. It's the Linus Carlson Edition Flow, a disc that has been out of production for a long time, but Linus, the savior, brought it back. And I'm going to show you how it flies. So let's start to talk about the disc in general, how it looks, how it feels, and so on. So the stamp. Real basic, uh, says Linus Carlson Editions, uh, and I also got the signed one, uh, which is really nice. Uh, I think there are some left at uh, Let's Do 64 factory store, but I know that the signed ones are out. But let's talk more about the profiles and so on. The, the disc is really domey, it has a, a good pop top, I think you can hear it, but it's really, really domey. If you like domey discs, you're gonna like this one. Uh, and I have like normal size male hands, uh, and the disc fits really nice in the hand. I can't almost complain at, uh, at anything, uh, to be honest. So, looks and so on, feels good, looks good. And it's the gold line plastic. Let's go over to the flight numbers. The flight numbers of this disc is 11 in speed, 6 in glide, a negative of 0.5 in turn, and a 2 in fade. And I think those numbers are really accurate. It has a really similar flight numbers than the, uh, which, uh, if you compare it to the Grace. But what this disc has that the Grace doesn't is that this disc can handle the headwind a lot better. But let's show this in all the different shots. So before I start to talk about the different shots, I just want to uh, say that I've thrown a little bit of a downhill and I have a bit of a tailwind. Not a lot, but just a bit. Uh, so we start with Heiser. So when I throw the disc on a Heiser angle, uh, I never could really could flip this disc up on a Heiser angle. Uh, I don't know if the tailwind was a factor to that of today, but uh, it stayed true to its Heiser angle. It could push forward a bit, but in the end it just faded to the left. Uh, I know that my Heiser angle was my shortest throw today. So when I throw the disc on a flat angle, uh, this was when I could get the most distance out of it. I think my first throw was about 122 meters. Uh, and I never really uh, flipped over and uh, carried to the right. Uh, it stayed true to its flat angle and push, 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 glide really well. And in the end, fade to the left. Uh, I think when you throw the disc on a flat angle in headwind, you can see some turn of it. But here it just rode straight and uh, glide for days. So really nice on flat angle, push some really good distance. Let's go to the last angle, the Anheuser. Yes, when I throw the disc on an Anheuser angle, uh, you can really see that this disc has some stability. Uh, it's trying to fight out of it, but it pushes forward for a bit, but in the end it's going to turn fade back to the left at the end. Uh, when throwing it in hand wind, uh, it might hold, stay true to its angle a bit longer, but here you can see it fights out with uh, fight outs of its angle. Uh, so, uh, that was all the different shots. Uh, let's summarize this. The flow, really domey distance driver which can glide really far and pushes some really good distance. My first throw today was approximately 122 meters. Uh, and what can I say, I like it. If you want a grace that can handle the headwind a lot better, try out the flow. There are still some left at Latitude 64's factory store, so snag one while you can. I don't know if they're gonna do any more runs of this disc because I just know that they made some because Linus liked this disc before he became a Latitude 64. Latitude 64, yeah, that's a word. So, if you have any questions about this disc or anything else, just let me know in the comment sections below and I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.